that is life. Many have sacrificed for you to have the opportunity to have this life, and it's what you make it. This your time, don't fucking waste it. Even when the fear is there, you gotta get up and face. I've been knocked down and kicked on the floor. Your boy Alex right here, man. I wanna talk about uh, what I feel is a pretty important subject, man. It's um, why I quit alcohol and how. You know, I mean, it's a pretty hard thing to do, man, especially nowadays, you know, uh, we tend to want to get away from our problems, escape in some type of way, and uh, it's hard, man, you know, I dealt with this struggle for a long time, like, since 19 years old, man, I was a pretty heavy drinker, there was a few times I quit, like, I quit for a year and seven months from like 2010 to 2012 and some things happened and I ended up going back to it, you know, and I didn't care, I didn't care like to even stop. So in 2020, when the pandemic started hitting, the pandemic, <laughs> Uh, it started hitting hard, man. The uh, Exxon shut down, lost my job and everything. I decided, yeah, man, I'm gonna enjoy that extra unemployment for a while. I was partying kind of hard, just doing whatever I felt like, you know. But towards the end, I I got real drunk one night, man, and I woke up and I was just like, I know I gotta stop soon, man. I know I, I can't keep doing this. Like the way I felt was like, like I stayed in bed till like eight o'clock at night. It was crazy, man. So, in July 2020, was the last time I had a drink. And I think the way I did it was like, I just felt like I was killing myself, killing my body, man. My brain, I wasn't, I wasn't living like on the level I wanted to be living, you know? I mean, uh, constantly hung over, just doing things I regretted, you know, waking up, looking at my phone, like, did I really send that message? <laughs> you know, <laughs> just uh, not caring, you know? So I did, I, I did quit and it was, uh, it was pretty hard, but it was what I knew I needed to do for myself, you know. I started getting into spiritual works, meditation, uh, eating cleaner and healthier. What I thought was cleaner and healthier back then, but I've pretty much refined my eating habits, you know, a little bit more. And um, it's paid off. Uh, so why? What was my motivation? Like I said, man, my physical health, you know, when I quit before back in 2010, it was like I quit because I wanted to do good with my music. I didn't want to get up on stage and be messing up or like I wanted to get in the studio and and spit and not be messing up. I wanted to have my mind clear because every time I'd be drinking or drunk, I couldn't uh, sit down and write some rhymes even. I mean, I might be able to write off like three or six beers. But I, I couldn't sit there and recite them. Like the more I be drinking, like my, you get kind of numb, you know. <laughs> you can't really flip your tongue the way you want to. So that's the that was my motivation back then. But then in 2020, my motivation became much more. You know, it was uh, to live just a better life, to be a better version of myself. I mean. I believe that's what we should all be striving for, you know, to be the best versions of ourselves and face, face our reality. Um, and not just run away because I, I was doing it to run away, to escape uh, a lot of the things I was going through. But uh, <clears throat> when you face your reality, that's where you gain tr like true strength it's actually harder you know like you might think it's easier to be sober and everything like that but you feel everything more and when you really choose to stick with going sober no alcohol you choose to fight that battle like and 
you know, the hardest way pretty much. And so life actually is harder at first because you feel everything more, but you get stronger and you, you start figuring out, hey, some things don't matter as much, you know? So how did I quit? I replaced it with more positive habits. Uh, things that I feel that are valuable to me. Um, eating healthy, exercising, hitting the gym, going on a run, going on a walk, just enjoying nature, um, writing lyrics. Um, you know, I, I use mineral water too, uh, just to have like something cold, like in a bottle to be drinking. Just sometimes that's all you want. You just want something in your hand to drink, you know, you don't have to be alcohol shit. Like, I know, like, uh, alcohol, it kind of loosens you up a little bit and gets the conversation flowing a little more sometimes. Like, uh, go out on a date with somebody and it's like, oh, yeah, you want to have something to drink and, you know, conversation starts getting like that. But to me now, man, I just, I don't do that anymore. I don't use that as, like, a way to open myself up. To me, if I don't have anything to say, then I... I ain't gonna say nothing, it's fine. I mean, sometimes you don't need to be talking just for the sake of talk, the sake of talking. So, yeah, man, I think we gotta realize what this is doing to us, you know? Like, it may seem like it's uh, normalized because it's legal, but um, I don't think it's like a, a good thing, man. It, it To me, I don't know why it's legal. I mean, like, look at how toxic it is what it's done to people um liver cirrhosis cancer you know in the brain i mean it actually kills your brain cells man lowers your libido uh your blood flow is not as good that's what contributes to it you know like uh heart disease and everything like that it contributes uh having like not having your cardiovascular system good that contributes to your low libido because you need circulation you need nitric oxide to provide oxygen you know to your organs to your cells and so alcohol i mean it just there's no benefit to it man i mean they say oh yeah there's it's good for you to thin your blood have a few drinks a week or like a glass of wine but you also got to think about how much sugar and carbs it is. Like, I used to eat like a, not a great diet, uh, you know, probably more than two, 3,000 calories a day. And then I'll sit there and throw back like 10 beers on top of it. Think about how many calories, 10 beers. I used to drink Modelo and that was like, I think 140 calories each beer. It's like 1,400 more calories on top of what you already eaten. So you got to think about what that's doing to your metabolism is making you metabolically unhealthy, uh, possibly throwing into you, throwing you into a diabetic state. You know, that's kind of what I was worried about: the insulin resistance. I mean, you shooting your sugar up so much, man, with every all the junk that you eat and the alcohol you drink. It's just, uh, it's not good overall. So, yeah, man, I I gave it up. I mean. How I would, what I would recommend is just replace it with healthy habits. You know, you can't just sit there and twiddle your thumbs after you stop drinking alcohol or you stop smoking cigarettes or doing drugs or any kind of bad habit. Um, you got to replace it with positive things. You got to be productive. You got to be in your purpose. You know, you got to figure out what your purpose is and go in that direction. Uh, even though like. You might not be reaching a lot of people with your purpose, but you could do something for your sole purpose, like something that's good for you, that makes you happy and just forget about all the disasters going on in the world, even your own troubles, you know, something that frees you like a like a bird out of a cage, you know, that's been caged up and just flying free in the wild. I don't know. It's just you need something like that. You need something to not really just distract you, but to feel like you're progressing because 
it's like Tony Robbins said, man, progress is happiness. So I believe that as long as you're making like little steps, progressing, you got to be happy. You can have joy and ascend to the higher states instead of being in the lower states, which is fear, anger, not trusting, you know, we got to get into the higher states of joy and peace and love. And that's what I believe we're here for, you know. And the alcohol, it ain't going to help you, man. Are you going to just going to keep you in that low state, you know, especially if you're trying to escape something. But all I'll say, yeah, man, just think about what it's done, doing to you. Think about what it's done for your life and ask yourself, is it worth it? Is it worth it to keep going? Because sometimes you won't stop something until it becomes so painful that you you say, hey, man. I can't do this anymore because it's hurting me more than it's giving me any even pleasure, you know? So, yeah, man, that's my motivation. I've been here three years and nine months, no alcohol now. And looking forward to that four-year mark in July. But you can do it, man. I know it's hard. If you think about quitting... Just, I think it's worth it, man, to take that first step and just keep going. And if you ever need any advice, man, you can holler at me, comments, message me. Uh, give me a like on this, you know. It'd be good for the algorithm, I think. Uh, I think the internet sometimes suppresses good information, you know. But we got to be that light, man. We got to unite and help each other grow. That's what it's about, man. It's your boy Analyst. Peace.